Told North Cal I'm next up, it ain't no stopping me. I ain't Capolo, you hear AA, then it's a robbery. So also too, because I noticed that, yeah, you're a very spiritual person and you, and you advocate for like being spiritual and stuff. There's not many people like that in this industry that really mm -hmm. advocated for it like you. So what? How did you become spiritual? Like what? How did you become like such a believer in God? Well, obviously upbringing matters. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, you know, just moms forcing me to go to church young, even though we wasn't heavy on going to church. But if I'm being completely transparent, life you know, once you keep trying to do things your way and you keep failing and you keep failing, and you keep trying to do things your way, at some point you have to recognize, okay, I have to seek something higher because what I want, what I desire, and how I'm trying to do it is just not working. So once life keep kicking you in your ass time and time and time again, you got to kind of buckle down and seek a higher power and let that higher power really talk to you and guide you. And once you get into that and once you see how powerful that prayer is, once you see how uh, prayer literally changes your life, once you see how prayer and, you know, is going to lead you and guide you and make room for you where you need to be. You'd be like, oh, I got to I got to stay firm in prayer. This works. This ain't just a no joke. This ain't no gimmick. This ain't nothing to play with. This is serious. Now, to all the super Christians watching this, I am not perfect. Far from perfect. I am. If you're looking for a perfect person, go open up your Bible. Go get your own relationship with Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? But um, I've just recognized like the power in prayer and how it changes your life and how important it is. Just praying, just asking for guidance, not asking for nothing, not asking for no money, not asking for no cars or no house. Just guide me where I'm supposed to be at. What am I supposed to be doing? How am I supposed to be serving? What is my calling? Speak to me. Um, once you get that and you start to get slowly get them answers, you'll be like, oh, man, this is serious because there was no way I could accomplish this on my own. There's no there's no way I can be who I am today or, you know, g even generating what I'm generating without, you know, God really putting his hand over my life. And because I'm not that brilliant. I'm not no genius. I'm not that smart or just capable. God had his hand on my life and, and it's worked out. I see. OK. And it's, for the audience, there, there may be some people watching this video that. They don't know if praying is like a foreign thing to them. They don't know how, like, wh what do you do to pray? What is your advice? Like, how do you pray? Uh, just get, just be silent. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, you, if you want to get on your knees, can do that. But just sit, be silent, and just communicate with God. Just talk. Talk out loud or just, mm -hmm. you know, just whatever you feel. You don't have to be perfect. Just, God, I don't even know how to pray. But can you just walk? Can you just help me can you guide me can you lead me i'm this is foreign territory for me i do not know i'm ignorant in this but can you help can you guide me because i don't know just that alone you know what i'm saying yeah. just that alone and slowly but surely once you call out he's gonna lead just have faith he's gonna lead and then you're gonna start getting more and more knowledgeable more and more it's just like anything else when you exercise it and you get, you're gonna get stronger and better at it yeah. True story. There you go. I appreciate that knowledge. I appreciate that. So, yeah, okay. Um, and then another thing that you said that I've noticed is that you don't smoke weed. No. Nah. So why is that as well? I've, I've just, I don't smoke weed. I've never had a tattoo. I've never had a gold grill. I don't drink alcohol. I've always just been my own person. And when I, I've always, when everybody else was doing something, I kind of wanted to do my own thing. I've always been like that. You know, all y'all going left, I'm going to go right. All y'all going right, I'm going to go left. I don't want to, mm. I don't want to do what everybody else doing. I, you know, so everybody was smoking. Everybody was getting high. Some people was popping pills and I just was never into it. Like, you know, what? I don't want to, I don't want to be like that. Then I, later on in life, I recognized, yeah, that shit is not for me. I like being sound. I like, you know what I'm saying? Plus I like saving my money. I don't want to be spending money on all this shit. It just was never for me it, it was never it was never for me so i've always just been my own person i've always been my own man so that's kind of that interesting so so you prefer being sober and being versus like because yeah weed you get dopamine that dopamine feeling but yeah you're not sound or you're not all the way there so you prefer like fuck that dopamine feeling i'd rather just be well alert. for me for me because mm -hmm. i know some people can be sound off weed and they can still function off weed for me I need to be fully functional. For me, um, I, I, I also don't want to be dependent on this to get me by. I don't want to be dependent on, on this weed to really, you know, get me by. And I got to spend all this money just to get me by. I, I, that was just never my thing. So I, I would rather just, you know, be on a natural high, you know, pray, drink that water and, and move like that. It's just me personally. I don't really fuck around. Do you smoke? 
I do. Yeah, you know that. I do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Down be high as I'm not high right now, though. Not before my interviews. I, For me, I can't smoke, like... In social situations, I begin hella antisocial when I'm high. It's, it's like for the end of the day or when I'm just in the house all day. I want to say this to everybody out there watching. Um, get high. If you want to smoke, smoke. But I want to make sure that you are can afford your hobby. You can afford your addiction. You can, you can afford this weed you buying. Meaning if you have a $300 to $500 a week weed habit, that is at least $1,200 to two thousand dollars a month you spending on weed where else could that money be can be going do you is your living situation in order is your business in order is your kids taken care of you know um is you know is your is that check engine light off make sure you can afford your habit because i'm seeing this too often nowadays too many people can't even afford their own habit your own necessities and responsibilities not even taken care of mm -hmm. but you still getting high that ain't okay. As a grown ass man or a woman, your responsibilities and your necessities should be taken care of first before you out getting high. I know that's gonna piss the weed smokers off, but my spirit told me to say that. So God bless you. And I ain't talking about you, Don, because I know you got money, because I know how much you make. <laughs> uh, I, I wanna say that, but yeah. Dom getting money out here, y'all. Don't let him lie to y'all. Dom is doing well in life. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Man, oh man. Okay, let's get on to the next question. So, 